Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matok Lasan. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the mean, median, and mode using Microsoft Excel. I got this data from the website of one of the famous cereal brands in the Philippines. In the first column is the kilocalorie per 100 gram serving. Second column refers to the reference portion size. This is in grams. We have the kilocalorie per portion and the kilocalorie per portion when we use 125 ml of semi-skim milk. So these cells have no data because these are uh, chocolate and uh, fitness bars. So what if we are trying to measure the central tendency or location of these uh, columns? So let's start with the mean followed by the median and the mode. To get the mean of the first column, all you need to do is to use the average function in Excel. So we have equal sign, average, and then open parenthesis. Select this range of data. Press enter or you close it with a parenthesis. Then we have the mean as 375. If you want to extend the formula to these three remaining columns, all you need to do is to select this and drag the cell or the selected cell. So we have now the remaining three means for these three columns. So if you want to round them off to two decimal places, just need to use this function oops the other one okay so we have now the average or the mean for each of this column in two decimal places note that the empty cells here will not affect the computation or the formula that you type in excel or in this cell how about the median so all you need to do is to type equal sign median open parenthesis and select the column or the range for the data set then we have 373 as the median of this data set how about the median of the three remaining columns again select this cell select this lower uh, bottom corner or right bottom corner and drag it here so you'll get the remaining medians for the three columns. How about we make it center? For the mode, we just need to type equal sign mode, open parenthesis, and select this data set so that it will give us 381. However, if we're going to check the mode manually, I'll just copy paste it here, arrange it in ascending order. Notice that we have more than two modes because it's not only 381 that has a frequency of two. Even 371 is two, 372, and even 387 has a frequency of two. So this range of data set has more than two modes. So meaning we need to use another formula for this one. If you're using Excel 2016, it won't be a problem because we have a multi-mode function in Excel 2016. So all you need to do is to type mode and then you can see another function here which is mode multi or mult. Just need to select this one and select the appropriate range. But why is it still 381 after doing or applying the formula? That's because we need to select range first. And since we are anticipating more than two modes, I will select, let's say, more than five or ten cells. It doesn't matter as long as it, it's, great and it's greater than the possible modes that you, we will have. So in this case, I'll try to select more than five cells. After selecting cells, you can type equal use the function again this time we can use it properly then select a range of data for the given 
use close parentheses. And then, here's the tricky part. You need to press Control and Shift key simultaneously. And then, pressing Enter. By doing that, the four modes for this column are now given. Again, we need to press Control and Shift key simultaneously before pressing Enter on your keyboard. Now, the not applicable cells here have no values because we, don't, we only have four modes in this data set. But it's safer to select more than four cells or more than five cells because we really don't know how many modes uh, we're going to have, right? So this is just right. Now, how about I do it again here? Let's try it again here. Equal sign, mode, and then this one. Select the range of data. Press Control and Shift simultaneously, then Enter. So we have here 30 as our mode. But why it's just 30 this time? Because we only have one mode for this data set. But why did I choose multi-mode if that's the case? Because it's safer to assume that we have more than two modes, right? You can just arrange, arrange or I, I mean, you can just erase these cells if you have found out that we have only one mode. Another way to uh, find the measures of central tendency using Excel is the use of data analysis. So if you happen to see my video about the add-in function data analysis in Excel, you can just go to the data ribbon, select data analysis, and select descriptive statistics. You select OK, then select your input range. In this case, these are my input range. And since I included the labels, I will select labels in first row here. Then uh, you can select a new workbook or a new worksheet for this one. You can select summary statistics this time and press OK. So here you can see that we have different values or descriptive statistics for the data set. For the K Cal per 100 uh, column, we have here the mean, which is 375, the median, which is 373, and the usual mode, which is 381. And that's all for this video. If you want more video tutorial in Excel, you can always check my playlist in the description below. If you have requests or any functions that you want to learn in Microsoft Excel, as long as I know it, you can just comment down below. See you in the next video.